Yeah. Anyway, let's see how it works out. Some some nice artwork in the begin beginning and a list of contents and an introduction. So getting started takes you through various uh, materials, a desk or a tablet or a table, storage, uh, papers, pencils, the effects on pe of pencils on paper, shading, some useful tools as a as a brush, a draftsman draftsman's brush, and an erasing shield get nice effect and pliable eraser, some pens, and the effect that pens have, or the effects you can achieve with the pen markers. Here's some additional tools and sweeps. Get yours from Dwayne Vance. My original ones have to be at least 50 years old. Much larger than Dwayne's though. So here's getting started uh, to do a vehicle, uh, setting up uh, your perspective step by step. And then it gets a bit more complicated, but always talking about planning ahead. And also there's many tips uh, in some of the pages to make it easier for you, give you a heads up. It's always good to practice uh, your two and three point perspective. I took a course on that one, it was really interesting. And then shading, you know, the effects of a black background on an element and the highlights with the gouache and then shading to get the curve and the reflected light. So it goes through all the basics there and then you get into some nice machines and spheres and how to capture light on a sphere and the reflected light on a stair. And I think this is one that I saw John do on uh, YouTube. Uh, so you could put all these on the side of your cars or, or machines and uh, look at this wonderful form, shade and reflections. Nice little thumbnails. You can do sheets and sheets of those. I think these are some of John's wonderful machines. I saw them in real life down in LA. And you know, there he is taken step by step through the whole procedure. And then we into projects. And Lauren Wood's uh, spaceship. And all these little details that you can pay attention to. Some thumbnails, variations on a theme. And here he is building it up. There's your perspective drawing. Starting off with simple shapes and getting up into something more recognisable. And going through the process of building it, creating form and practice here for shading, reflections and light. So we'll move along. These are by Milen Ivanov. Once again, simple little thumbnails and then begins to develop the vehicle. And there's your perspective view. Practice to do your wheels. I need practice for that. I'll be paying attention to that exercise. And once again, shading, reflection, and grounding uh, your vehicle has a great effect. And then shading it, adding color. Rob Turpin, this northern boy. I really like Rob's work. A very outstanding uh, finished product with his coloring. And I know he's waiting to see this review. So here you go, Rob. <clears throat> Some nice little shapes for vehicles. Once again, simple thumbnails that build up into a project. And this is a futuristic uh, building. With a bit of landscaping in it. And this is the kind of stuff that you would recognize Rob for. 
If you check out his work, you'll see these colours and graphic shapes. There you go. Guido Coop. Once again, following the same format, building it up, practicing uh, perspectives, adding detail and form, shading, adding rust. So I think what he's demonstrating here is you can go and to a building site, photograph anything, and and make a concept piece out of it. Great reflections here. And Lauren Wood again, nice spaceships. So I love these uh, thumbnail shading and reflection exercises. And you can see where he's deployed a various shading patterns. Nice to know which one he uses where. And this is Cali Way, like great detail here for these arches. Nice perspectives. You can only achieve this if you do your perspective outlines. Glass, reflective surfaces. Ang Chen. Robots. Once again, thumbnails and then building up the form, getting into the perspective and detail orientation of joints and adding shading and reflection. Quian Zhao Na. Spaceship interiors. So you can see each section getting built up or at least the concept idea of it and deciding what it's going to look like and then building um, thumbnails up to a recognisable environment that you would uh, see on Star Trek or Battlestar Galactica or these type of shows and there it is in a larger format with the perspective lines uh, in there but this is wonderful stuff, great detail here and again reflective surfaces and shading and light and very impressive Introducing a bit of colour and then quick studies. Dwayne Vance. So you can see how Dwayne does his work and I'm sure he does his cars the exact same way. Jan Burgery. Well, these are frightening to say the least, but great characters. And you can see, once again, how he's built up the character. Wayne Hag, nice landscapes here. Simple, uh, but stunning in its own way. Um, look at the detail he went into to come up with a concept. Great exercises. Uh, Jeff Zugale. Sorry if that's not pronounced correctly, but you can see oh, blue line sketches. Nice rendition in the end. Beautifully done. Ricardo Pagani. Nice little thumbnails. Great detail here in the ship. Reminds me of... Uh, uh, Mr. McHugh. And here's another one from Dwayne. Another bot. Figuring out the stance. Adding detail. And refining it to come up with a finished product. Eric Dillinger. Well, these are really nice. So you can spend a whole day doing this type of detail in a thumbnail format 
for each of these artists and the examples that they've provided. And you can only get better if you can do this. Jeff Sugali. Isn't that a great looking vehicle? And you can see how he's arrived at it through these concepts. Although uh, smaller single seater uh, idea, which is developed into a much larger, robust, uh, powerful machine, basically. Ricardo Pagani again. Yeah, you could see this stuff in Lord of the Rings or any uh, sci-fi show. There you go. How to draw a gun. Wayne Hag. Nice concepts. Develop it into something more futuristic. Eric Dillinger. Once again, nice, very small thumbnails coming up with the idea, the concept, and then gradually building up into this really nice detailed piece. The advanced stuff, right, so... Take a bit of practice to be able to get there, but... I'm sure if you just sat down with a, a pencil and loosely sketched it out, you would be able to arrive at something similar and then go in and detail it, but I would certainly think about including perspective lines to make sure that everything was aligned properly. That's a mistake I sometimes make is foregoing that step of the perspective lines. So, and then I wonder why the the rear wheel looks a bit odd. You see the nice finished piece. Jarrell die. So, and you can see um, the tools that has been used and the paper, the gouache. Now it's been built up through the thumbnails. I don't really see where he used perspective lines on this. It must be that he's gotten to the point where he knows exactly where to place a line and it's not going to look odd or out of place. Great colour treatments here. So you're transitioning from the, the violet to the blue, but the violet's still in the background. This is by Michael Kuss. Typical mechs. The detail he went into to explore the mechanics of, of the arms and legs. And the stance and positioning of everything here. And great thumbnails to come up with a concept and then develop it through into, from these silhouettes into the uh, 3D form defined uh, mech. And there he's breaking it down to basic components. So I guess if I looked at it that way, I might be able to get there. And going back to basics, colours, shading, light, reflection, all very important. Anyway, if you want to learn to sketch uh, mechs and spaceships and such like, uh, futuristic vehicles, get this book. Uh, it's not that expensive and... Uh, You'll be supporting uh, the the artists out there to help them do more and you'll get the benefit of a mini little art course contained in this book. So I hope you've enjoyed this little review and uh, I hope the artists enjoy it uh, even more so. Well, thanks very much for watching. Get sketching. Bye for now.